Good morning, everybody. I'm going over some tower maintenance today, so making a few videos for you. Uh, this one, I just want to cover some generic, kind of a start of the cleaning process. So as you can see, this tower has been growing all summer long. I have harvested off of this kale, and it just keeps growing, so I'm going to keep using it, but it's getting close, which is why I also have some babies going as well. So just know you can have some very mature plants, and you can also put some baby plants in your tower at the same time. That's what I love about it. You can easily swap it out. So part of what I'm going to do today, I always say in my workshops that I'm cheating a little bit, okay? It's time to do some cleaning here, and I'm going to show you another area up here in just a little bit. But instead of me taking all of this apart, I am going to lower it down to five, by the way, uh, because I, it's fall is coming. It's August, but fall is coming, and I'm not going to need as many ports. And this is going to get moved to my garage. So I'm going to size this down today, and I'm also going to kind of clean some things up. So, but this is how I cheat. It dawned on me one year that I had to keep taking this apart, setting, setting my plants to the side, cleaning the tower, and then putting it back together. And that would be a few hours long because I had to scrub or soak these sections in vinegar to get most of the stuff out of them, okay, before I put it back together in a change of a season. So it dawned on me, why don't I just buy some more extensions? And I can just swap them out. And so I always have four that kind of technically aren't being used unless I wanted to take my second tower to a seven high as well, which I don't normally do. I usually just have a seven high and a five high in the growing season in Oklahoma. So just know you can buy for 70 bucks, buy some more extensions and these will last forever, just like the tower itself. So you'll always use them. So it's easier for me to just take these apart, pop these clean ones in and I can soak these and put them away when I'm done with them. So that's one cheat mechanism that I do. So let me set these aside. Now let me show you, if Bob will get in a little closer here. One of the things that you really need to watch out for, when these older plants, so here's a Swiss chard plant that is months old, months, seven, eight, nine months maybe. You can see how he is, the port, this part, is getting pushed away or it's pushing away the shower cap. It's time for this guy to go. He's gonna end up creating problems for my tower. So I'm gonna harvest him and move on and just plant another Swiss chard plant. So that's one of the things you have to watch for. And it's again, it's that time of year. These have been growing all summer long into the spring and in the summer. So it's time to clean them up. So you can also see I have some scale along here. I wanna just clean that up. It's time to trim roots. Um, so I'll go into that here in a little bit, but I just wanted you to see and if he'll kind of get closer, I also have a little bit of algae down here that I'm just gonna brush off. So I'm gonna get a hose and a brush and I'm just gonna brush that off. Probably dump out the water as well because it's got some, just some extra tower garden stuff in it. Just some dirt and some roots and things like that. So also, if you'll notice, it's time for me to harvest my basil. It's bolting. And so it's time for me to get rid of some of this. So when I come back, this will be a five high tower and it will have some cleaned up, some cleaned up cheaters on there. And, but for now, I just wanted to kind of share this with you. So hopefully that's helpful for you.